We are going from this to that right now. Hello drywallers and steel stud framers, welcome to Construction Cronies. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys as much as I possibly can about drywalling steel stud stand-ups. This is uh, video footage that I've taken off of the last job I was on and I have a bunch of extra footage so I figured I'd just compile them together. I'm going to make two videos, this is the first one. I'm going to tell you as much as I can about doing stand-ups uh, with this footage. If you guys have any questions at all, make sure to leave them down below in the comments and I will get back to everybody. Let's just get this discussion started. This is a good time to ask questions. This is a, this is kind of a free, 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 free spirited video. I'm going to be just walking along I'm just going to be going along with the video and explaining to you what I'm doing. This wall specifically is 12 foot stand ups, um, 10 foot tops, and then there's a bulkhead uh, above. So we have tops, we have uh, sheets on top of sheets, and it's double layer both sides. So it's a good opportunity to, for me to teach you guys some really good drywalling techniques. This first segment coming right up, I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to secure the first side of the wall. It's very important to get the first side of a double layer, both sided wall perfect so that when you're doing the second side, it goes like butter. All right, so listen to my tips. It's very important. Uh, I'm gonna teach you guys a lot here. So get ready to learn and grab a pen if you want. When double layer drywalling a, a steel stud wall like this, it's important to get your first side perfect. You wanna make sure that you have your 16s centers proper. You laser in your sheets so that you can make sure everything's center on bevel. Nice, the, the centers are good at the top. So when you start screwing off, you have to make sure you go to the top and set your studs on centers uh, or on the bevel, right? To make sure when you do the other side, that you don't have issues. Everything will be locked in by the, by the time you get um, to the other side. So if you make this first side good, then you're gonna have an easy time on the second, you know what I mean. Okay, so you heard me there. Make sure to secure the first side. It's really, really important that we laser in all of our sheets. Uh, not every single one, obviously, but the first one. Laser, it, laser the first sheet in. Uh, check your layouts to make sure the drywall isn't going to end, you know, funny on the ends of the wall. Uh, in this situation here, we actually ended up adding a stud in the end uh, where the angle is because it's more than two feet. These are two foot centers. Generally, you're going to have 16 inch centers. So rarely you're going to have two foot, but because this is 16 gauge steel, the owner wanted to go two foot, which is fine. It's his job. He's paying. Uh, what I'm doing here even is I'm laser. I'm not lasering. I'm what I'm doing right here, sorry, is I'm leveling it with my four foot level. It's just fi perfectly fine for doing tops, okay? The, the first bottom row will be lasered in, so you can simply just use a four foot level for your tops. Uh, because this is an angled wall, the sheets are gonna get bigger as I go along. So I'm starting with the small end. I can put all a bunch of sheets in the lift and by myself put them on, no problem, okay? Uh, so get the first sheets lasered in secure. Uh, what I do, when I'm doing my stand-up, so we're using 12-foot sheets to start. I, uh, uh, when I laser that first sheet in, uh, I'm going to secure it. Uh, uh, four screws in the track, okay? I'm going to go an inch in from either side of the bevel, and then I'm going to go in from the studs, right? I'm not going to screw it in right where the stud is, where the, where the screw is. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to come in a little bit, an inch in from each stud, and put a screw in the bottom track four screws in the bottom track. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and uh, secure the studs on center. So if two foot center, 16 inch center, it doesn't matter. Go up and make sure they're, they're perfectly on center on the bevels and in the field because on when you're staggering your sheets, all right, you're, you're gonna have to uh, make sure that your field studs are good for the other bevels. In fact, when I'm doing double layer, I never screw in the field screws on the first layer. Why? Because that is where the bevel, uh, the bevel for the top layer goes. So if I need to adjust the, the stud on the second layer, I can't do that now. Okay? But I will secure the bevel studs in the first layer. Every two feet. Just to every two feet. Okay? So two, four, six, eight. 10 and then 12 at the top of the 12 foot sheet. There's a reason for this. Now, when, I'm, when you're doing your top layer, 
I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go two feet, every two feet, and I'm gonna be able to see where the screws are uh, from the first layer so that I could put them in the same spot for the second layer, okay? So if that makes sense, if it doesn't make sense, let me know, okay? I'll, I'll try, I can draw you guys a diagram, whatever, sometime, it, it doesn't matter. I, I, at least if you have questions, then I can actually go to the field and show you exactly what I mean in another video. All right, so what I do at the very end of the, um, uh, of the wall, when all the sheets are on, then I'll go back in and screw in the rest of the bevels. Every, I'll go in between the two foot marks, okay? So every one foot, I'm screwing it in, in the bevel. Uh, in, the, in the fields, I'm going knee height, waist height, chest height, and a reach. Okay, so like pretty much every 16 inches in the center uh, of the field, okay? Every 16 inches in the field. Um, make sure to stagger your joints when you're doing double layer. It, 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 it makes the wall really, really strong, and if it's fire rated, then that's code. You can see here, I'm um, working on tops now. This is the bulkhead. What, when you're working on a lift, it's, it's the best practice to do everything you can in that area before moving over. I did it with the steel, and now I'm doing it with the drywall. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get everything in. Doing tops is pretty easy. Find a gravy piece, what we call a gravy piece, which is like uh, a, a sheet with no cutouts in it. Put that on, get it square, get it level, whatever you need to do. This is really tough because this is sloped and everything, but that's okay. You'll figure it out as you go. Um, so once you get that gravy piece in, okay, it could be somewhere off in the wall, then you can start doing your other sheets because now you have something to take your measurements off. For doing cutouts like that, it's really, really easy, guys. All you're gonna do is measure over Okay, take all the measurements, okay, so that you can cut it out. It's all you're gonna do is transfer that onto the sheet like I did there, um, and then score it with your knife and cut it out with your router. Um, doing tops is tricky sometimes because you gotta figure out now, how am I gonna see, like, how am I gonna get the sheet in there, right? So you have to cut the top all the way so it's in p multiple pieces, right? So try to do that in the best possible way, the shortest distance that you can get away with and having the sheet still secure um, but yeah you can see then there's a there's a little return on the bottom of this bulkhead right there um, I think I think I still have to go back up and do the top layer on that bulkhead on this section right here I believe yeah I do yeah you can see the cuts are the tightest but if you keep uh, both layers tight it'll, it's gonna be better for you in the long run and uh, the first layer if you get it nice and tight around the cuts the second layer will be much easier because then you can actually see where you're, you messed up on the first layer, okay? Um, and then if you need to, you can use board-to-board -board screws to, to fasten in the second layer to the first layer. So put a, lot of, put a bunch of screws, get your first layer screwed off well on something like this because then you can come back and uh, use board-to-boards if you need to, okay? But yeah, you can see here all I'm doing is splitting it right down and uh, that's just how it goes. <laughs> So lifting sheets onto the lift can be tricky. Um, once you start getting into the bigger sheets, 10 foot sheets, right? I can do about eight foot sheets myself, no problem. But once we start getting into these 10 foot sheets like we are now, work with a partner, you're gonna wanna leave the sheets on the ground and you're gonna together pull them up and then set, set it on your foot, all right? And then when you're going up on the lift, you, you just stop the lift right where the bottom, where the sheet is, so you can just pop it in. Be very, very careful with this. It can be easy, it's actually pretty easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy. So check this out. The main, the main thing to remember here is if you lose a sheet, let it go. Don't try to save it, okay? Once it's gone, it's gone. If you try to sh save the sheet, that's how you're gonna get hurt. So don't do that. And then boom bada bing, it's just like that, right? You just, you pop it into place and you, you can tilt it over, okay? Get that one corner in and slide it over. Uh, and that's why it's nice to have all your sheets level so you can just boom, boom, boom. They'll just fall, nicely fall into each other. And uh, yeah, then screw it off. When I'm doing my top, same thing. I'll, I screw the first layer in every two feet. Even if it's just a single layer wall, I'll, I'll tack them in every two feet and then at the end, I'll come back and screw off the bevels because you don't want the sheets to get pushed out. Um, when you're, if you screw off all the bevel, um, and then you have possibilities of them being busted out, and they'll push your sheets out, you'll, you'll be a mess, right? 
So it's nice to just, just tack them in lightly. And when you're on a lift like this, once you get all the sheets in, in your area, okay, and then you can screw them off and always screw off coming down, right? You coming down, screw off. But yeah, it's actually pretty, pretty straightforward, guys. And like I'm saying, if you guys have any questions at all, make sure to leave them down in the comments. We have a great community here full of great guys that are experienced and will help you uh, with anything you need help with tools or uh, procedures safety anything you need this community is so amazing and we do live streams a lot I do at least two a week but now since we've been on quarantine I've been doing live streams almost daily uh, so it's been a, been a lot of fun so there's a lot of resources here in the community for you guys uh, get down in the comments and, and introduce yourself let us know who's out there we'd like to know who you are and who's watching and um, I'm here to help. I really want to help you guys. That's why I started this channel is to help people. Okay, that's what I'm here for. Uh, so don't be shy. Ask your questions. Um, no dumb question, guys. But yeah, so here we're wrapping up uh, uh, the wall, and um, yeah, like once we get the bigger sheets, you see we have them uh, just sitting there waiting for us down on the down on the ground. So we're not going to bring up our 10 foot sheets, you know, in the lift with us. We're just going to go down, pick them up, come up, put them on, go down, get the other one, and so on. <laughs> All right, guys. To learn more about steel stud and drywall. Be sure to keep watching uh, the next videos. YouTube thinks you guys will like this video here, so give it a watch. Um, there's a Facebook group, Discord group. Get connected, guys. This is Chris. See you on the next one.